Hi Jules, we are back with part three of our uh, how to make a spider from uh, from uh, glue, tape, and paper. I have finished and it is completely dry the coating for the spider, the paper, and the glue. Now what I have done after I had gotten the newspaper on, I put a coating of a very thin paper towel or napkin over top of this, which gives it a little bit more sturdiness. And you can actually pick this up, and it's stiff. And so um, we are going to be painting this bad boy, maybe decorating some on this spider today. So what I'm going to be using is I have some, um, oh, what is this? Oh, it's a uh, Valspar, um, let's see, interior satin paint. And so this is basically your interior paint, and I, I found this for $1.50 at, I believe, Lowe's. Yeah, Lowe's. And it is a real pretty, like a charcoal, a darker charcoal gray uh, for this spider. I'm not going to paint it completely black. I'm going to give it some character. I've got some uh, of this paint here. I'm also going to be using a navy blue and a craft brown on this spider. And we will see what this looks like. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, where'd I put my paintbrush? There it is. Use the paint on the lid first. Yep. Oh yeah, that's got a good color to it. Shouldn't take long. in all the cracks and creases there. And even if we just get this one coating on today, I will make sure to start up the next video as soon as it dries. I do have a heat tool here so we might be able to dry it up a little faster. What this really cool thing about this paint right here is that you only need one coat. The paint from the lid, I've just about got the front of the hood thin. I think the most difficult part is going to be his legs. Alright, now, used up just about all of his paint from the lid. I need a bigger brush, guys, to cover more area. 
So I'm going to go get me a bigger brush. I'm just getting just a basic blue bristle brush. Maybe we'll get some more paint spread on there. Oh, yes. Much faster. Much better. to wait to do this because I had to wait for all the paper and glue and all of that spooky goodness to uh, to dry so I had to wait to record this video <clears throat> Don't worry if you don't get all the nooks and crannies. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt nothing. Not gonna hurt nothing at all because you're gonna be dry brushing some other colors on there, anyhow. And with this paint, your legs may become a little bit more flimsy since there's some moisture going to be going into uh, this paper again. So beware, they may droop a little bit again. We have one leg done. We're going to go to the next one. This may take a little bit of time, but you know, if you're a quick painter and can do stuff like this pretty quick, have at it. Go for it. Now, after the, after we get done painting and getting the, uh, uh, Getting the things that we need on there, we're going to be coating this in a varnish, which will protect it from, um, well, your light bumps and scrapes and bruises.
So, how are you guys been doing? Y'all working on anything spooky? For Halloween? What's on your table? Are you working along with me? You making a journal? Are you making some tags? Are you making a spooky Halloween thing just like me? Now, this might be a tedious process, but it's something you got to do. Something that you can't just leave by itself unless you really want the white look for your spiders or most ghost appearance. Even with just this one coat of paint, it looks awesome. This is just the base of your spider, the base paint of your spider. And if I had more high tech supplies, I'd be doing this a lot better, but you know, I'm making do with what I've got and what you can do at home. For a cheap and easy, really cool Halloween. Uh, centerpiece or Halloween decoration so I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this so if you would hit that thumbs up and leave a comment what do you guys think what could be better what could I do to make it better I would love your insight anything's better than nothing right Don't forget to check out our Facebook group on Facebook, Creative Jewels by Emily. And come check our group out and see all the fabulous artists that we have in there. And if you guys would like to order anything, please feel free to uh, send me a message and I will see what we can do. I can get these pretty uh, done pretty quick as long as you order them in a, in a you know, timely, timely fashion. I can do just about anything that you that you need. All I need is a picture or an idea of what you want and I can definitely sculpt it and make it for you. Prices may vary on size and details so if you would please message me if you would like to order a item. Right. 
You now have one side completely painted. Now for the other side. Gotta paint the body over here though. I'm not going to worry about painting the bottom because it's going to probably be sitting on a table or hanging against the wall. So I'm not going to worry about painting the bottom of the spider. Just around the back end. Alright, let's turn this bad boy around. I missed on this one. This might not be the most exciting part, but it's getting it's getting to where it's coming alive and you you're getting to see the creature appear from the darkness. Did you know I hate spiders? And here I am building one. I absolutely am terrified of spiders. And here I am building a prop for a Halloween party for a good friend of ours. This could be even a prop for pictures, you know, like to have them have it sitting on your shoulder or giving you a great big old body hug. This back end turned out really good because it's got that little point that spiders have at the back of their abdomen. It's pretty good. I'm wearing an old t-shirt that way if I splatter paint I don't mess up my good clothes that I, that I wear on an everyday. This is not an everyday. I got this shirt at the Dollar Tree. A large and it was a Hanes believe it or not. And so I got this shirt to paint in that way if I got any splatters I wouldn't mess up my good shirts. So go me. Cause how many of you crafters have ever ruined clothes by using paint that does not come out? I wouldn't know that at all, would I? Mm. Nope, nope, nope. I would not know that at all. <laughs> I'm just painting the legs, so if I'm off screen, please forgive me. Please, please, please forgive me. Look at that, I'm all covered in paint. <laughs> Use as much of that paint on your brush as you can. That way you can conserve a lot of it.
stuff. All in all, I think this build would, uh, would take up to about a week at the most to finish, from start to finish, because you have to, the most tedious part in the long waiting time is the drying part of your paper, your paper mache and your, your, your mini coats of paper. But I would suggest if you want a more uh, permanent uh, form to use for your spider legs, I would suggest wrapping your wire. Wrapping some, um, about maybe eight, I'm not sure, about 18 to 20, 18 to 14 gauge wire. Sorry, I keep, I got to remember the, the rules of engagement here. <laughs> Get it? Engage. Uh, the higher the, the gauge, the thinner the wire. The lower the gauge, the thicker the wire. So I would say 18 to 14 gauge wire if you want the legs to be very sturdy and not move and deform on you. I mean, but that's part of, of this part. I didn't mind because it, it shaped the way it wanted to. It dried the way it wanted to. You know, I had it up. I mean, it did slip down. because of the weight of the paper and the glue. But you know what? I think it turned out really cool. Two more. Two more guys. And we're almost done with this part. almost 25 minutes in and we've about got this whole spider with its base coat of color and it depends on painting time on how big your project is I mean you can build this thing as big as your table or as small as your palm of your hand doesn't matter I'm shaving its legs, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm just painting them. I barely even used hardly any paint out of this jar. It doesn't take much paint as long as you put the coating on kind of thin. This paint seems to dry rather quickly, so that's a good thing. Now, if you get to a spot where 
the paper is very flimsy and it's starting to break apart. All you'd have to do is take you some glue, or hot glue, or whatever glue you're going to use, and just glue a piece of paper over top of that. Wait till it dries, and then continue. And I have that problem here, but it's not that big of a problem. We're not going to be moving it that much, so it's not going to hurt nothing. It's just for a proper Halloween, something I'm going to use a couple years and probably retire it. And if you can't stand to have paint on your hands, please use gloves. But this is the type of project where it's inevitable you're going to get paint on you no matter what. No matter how careful you try to be, you're going to get paint on you. Doesn't matter if you if you are 100 miles away from it, you're going to end up with paint on you. If you're like me, yeah. <clears throat> so, did y'all see my new kitties? I have a black cat, or James Lee's got a black cat. Don't know what the heck we're going to do now. We got four more mouths to feed, so we've got a total of ten cats running around our yard. Lord have mercy. We have mercy. We've got them in a box in our bathroom because the rest of our house is cold, and our bathroom stays warm if we shut the door. So we load them up, loaded them up in our bathroom in a box, and keeping them at a Good temperature. I've got Mama Kitty in there. I've got Rainy in there. And uh, gonna see what happens. We've got to get her into a vet. As soon as them kittens are weaned, we are getting her into a vet, no matter what, or she's gonna go to another home because we cannot afford more cats. And I happen to think that a friend of ours is probably going to get another kitty. The one that we gave for her birthday. He's probably going to get another one of these kittens. All right, guys. Our legs are done. Now I'm just going to go do some touches up on a spot that I didn't get on this here. Finish his body up a little bit. Enough. All right, now, now that we got our spider all painted up in the darker color, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try it. Don't know if it'll work or not, but I'm going to try and put a heat gun to it, see if it'll dry. Of course, this is house paint. I don't want to. No, you can't get up here. Mama's got paint all over. Her. It's dark paint too. Go catch some flies. Go catch some flies. Go. Away.
Just like a spider is wanting to curl its legs up on me, and not cooperate. I don't think it's dry enough to where I can go in and do some dry brushing with our next color. Gotta get me a brush. Alright. I'm going to be dry brushing with a navy blue. It's going to have like a blue sheen to it. 
it's not black but it's not blue okay and to dry brush you put out a little bit of paint and then you take it and you wipe and you take off most of the color and then you go in and you just drop the color where you want it a lot of the times it'll get a lot of the ridges that were raised up what I'm doing. Some spiders do have a sheen to them. I'm giving my spider a blue sheen. I'm giving a little bit of color. Missed some white here, didn't I? That's okay. Take that paint and go back in and just dot a little bit of paint in my white areas here my puppy's in there a whining because he wants in there with kittens lightly brushing that paint on. It may look like I'm putting on a lot, but it's actually not. I'm just seeing the shadow from my computer actually. We're going to be putting on a light coat of brown to give it a little spike of color. now have that blue sheen to him. A little bit of a light brush with a little bit of paint that I have left on his body. Well, he said, hey, what about me? 
And this is the little V I was talking about back here on the back end, where I guess the spinnerets. Alright, now let's give it a quick dry. Although acrylic paint does dry off real quick. But we're going to give it a good dry. Well, it wasn't quick, but it was a dry. Now, I'm going to take our brown paint. I'm going to mix it with just a little bit of this navy. y'all can't see it online on the screen but I got it right here on the edge of the table right there right here just gives it a muddy brown type of look I'm going to scrape the paint off of here we're going to do a dry brush I have an idea for this right here, but I don't know if it'll work or not. But, you know, we shall see. We'll do a final video, and the final look when we get done. Just enough paint. Do what I need. Do this, man. Mr. Spider, you're going to look gorgeous. All right. 
So here is our spider with its paint. in all of his glory. Look at that. Isn't that cool? All spindly eight legs. I want him to twist up on them. Look how gorgeous that is. All right. Now, I have an idea. I gotta dry this first. And then I'll have to move Mr. Spider out of the way because I'm wanting to try something. I don't know if it'll work or not. But I can't record any of this. Yes, some extra distressings on the knuckles of the Spider's legs. Use up the rest of this paint. Anyway, we're not wasting not one bit of this gorgeous paint now. All right, now. I'm going to move him to the floor, and I'm going to work on him. All right, I know that we have paint everywhere, but yeah. Now, this is raffia, you know, that stuff you can use on wreaths and stuff like that. Now, I was thinking, I was thinking that maybe I could strip this up. And make it look like hair. Paint it up and make it look like hair on the back of this spider's abdomen. I don't know if it'll strip up on me. Maybe I have to get some on the other end. I mean, it doesn't have to be in perfect pieces. So, what I was thinking about doing is painting down, making some of this, making some more of this paint here of the. Of the the brown and navy. Don't know if it'll work. So let me see. And this makes a real pretty dark brown. Has the blue tint to it, but not a total big brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this raffia down and I'm going to paint it. And I'm going to see what will happen. I know I'm going to need quite a bit of it. That's the reason why I have it back here. So I'm going to paint this. This will give it the effect that it has of quote unquote hair. I know this might be redundant, but I figure I could go ahead and paint it before I put it on the spider. That way it doesn't look too like, like, where I, like I, if I missed colors or missed spots. Alright, tape. and grab me some more. This 
is like one big strip. So I'm gonna curl that up and pull it through. Sorry, I'm not talking again. My goodness, I forget. I get zoned. Anybody ever get zoned into what they're doing and just forget they're recording or something? I do that all the time. into that wrapping. <clears throat> that way when I separate it or do something I don't have to worry about missed paint or if I do if I do miss areas I can go in with my paint and touch it up. I know I've missed places that I need to get to the next set. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, everything that you see that I have used to make this spider, you can get at the Dollar Tree. At the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. I mean, you can get the paints at Walmart for 50 cents a bottle as well. Because I don't know if Dollar Tree paint is as good as these these paints, but I do know that Dollar Tree paints are very translucent, and so I don't, I choose not to use their paints. I don't have much luck with their paint. I think I should have done that in the first place. It would save me a long battle doing that paint separately.
think I might need to mix me up some more honey. Yep, it's all off to work to go. do one more small batch. Small, small. Maybe. Maybe set this paint. As you can tell, I've, I've become one with my paint. I have my war paint on. Alright, now I'm going to dry up my spot. I'm going to clean my hands. It'll give me just a Didn't get all of it off right away. I'm just trying to hurry, but I got most of it off. Right. Yeah, I got right at work right here.
Ooh, you should smell this dry. Oh, Lord. There's still a couple of damp places in there, but I'm going to move all of my mess out of camera shot. That way you all can't see my mess. Now, let's bring old Spotty back up here. Now, what we're going to do... Is see you in the next video. Alrighty, guys, I am going to get my uh, my area cleaned up, and I will see you guys in part four of this tutorial. Alrighty, guys, hope you have a wonderful and blessed day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.